It was just another day in my life, I was doing absolutely nothing important when I remembered I had to finish the glow style level I was making. This level is that one from that tutorial I did a long time ago and I honestly didn't even remember how it looked like. When I got to see this level again, some intrusive thoughts started to take over my mind. Dang, are you really gonna make another glow style level? All your creations look the same bro, what the fuck? Make something different. This level is so laggy and you are so lazy to optimize it. Okay, that last one may be true. Those intrusive thoughts were really getting into my mind and I was really feeling like just not finishing this level anymore and just ignoring its existence. However, I assumed it was just a momentary thing and I decided to start making the next part of it and see if I would get my motivation back again. For the next part, I decided to make a totally different thing from the other ones. I had an idea to make a kind of glowy overworld. You know, having grasses details everywhere, some mountains for the background and maybe even a glowy sunset. But I also didn't want to make anything too complex and make a lot of details since I didn't want this part to lag my game just as the other ones did. The first thing I did here was a custom ground and for that I used some grasses objects and just tried my best to keep it as simple as I could. After it I started to make the block designs and I literally just made a rectangle and then started making some kind of custom grasses details in the top of it. But then I realized these custom grasses I made were looking really bad so I just switched them to the regular grasses details and now it looks fine I guess. After it I just made some fading lines into it, made even more grass details in the middle of it and finally I just threw in some black glow and it was done. I know that it looks really simple compared to my other block designs and honestly that's a good thing. It's as they say, the simpler the block is, the less laggy it gets. Actually nobody says that. After the block designs, I decided to make some spikes and for their details I had this kind of weird idea to use those slopes made of bricks. Somehow it worked out pretty well so at the end of the day I am happy. After it I decided to make some block designs and I tried to keep most of them similar to the first one I made but I also decided to make a smaller block that was made of a different color as you can see here. I did it to give more color variation for this part and it worked really well. So I just spammed the block designs and the spikes all over this part and it was finished. This was legit the world fastest block design making ever. After finishing the block designs I decided to make some ground spikes and I also wanted to make something different for them. As you can see, this part partakes in putting grasses details everywhere and obviously the ground spikes could not be out of it. I just started making some grass slopes here and then I put some of those stereo madness blocks to fill in the empty space under them. After it, I put some regular ground spike slopes on top of it and to finish it off, I just made some gears in it. This is definitely a ground spike that was made by a person. After finishing this small ground spike, I decided to copy and paste it around the part, but I changed the color of it, just to give it more variation I guess. So far, I am really reaching my objectives with this part. It looks simple, not that similar to my other stuff and especially, it doesn't lag that much. Now I decided to make the air deco and for that, as you may guess, I used grass details. I just made some walls surrounded by grasses around them, behind everything the part and then I just made a silly arrow in the middle of it. Just compare the air deco from the beginning of this level to this one. It's just insane man. And after doing it, I decided I would make the biggest change in my style ever. I decided to actually make some sauce. Yes, I finally managed to pronounce that correctly. I didn't do anything too complicated for it though. I just spammed some saw blades one on top of each other here and just spread them all over the part. And 
to finish the air decoration from this part off, I just made some arrows indicating where the player should jump in this part and also I made some small hearts to kinda fill in the empty space. So far, I was genuinely so happy with this level and I really hope nothing terrible is gonna happen to it. I really hope that this level stays intact and that I'm still gonna be able to finish it. Now it is time to make the background and I had a really, really cool idea for it. As you already know, this part is centered around an overworld theme, so we are gonna make this background according to that theme of course. The first thing I started to make was a circle, using some blocks and some of those grass details on the top of them. Then I just made some more grass details on top of them, copy and pasted them a little bit, made some more grass circles behind everything with a lower brightness value and yeah, as you can see, I tried to make some grassy hues in the background. Now I decided to make a little nice and glowy sun behind it all. I just made a circle detail here and then I just scaled it up a lot, made some glow and I decided to make a pretty interesting thing in it as well. I made that kinda pinwell detail behind it, making a little nice and sunny atmosphere in the background. And also, as some of you have noticed, the sun pulses blue sometimes. Yep. Yeah, I have no idea why I did that, but I like it. And for the last, I made some cute little eyes in it. Look at how pretty he is. I added some stars behind it all to make it feel more filled up. And also, I made them all rotate around the sun and it created a pretty cool effect as you can see here. The last thing I'm gonna be making in this part are some moves. And let's go! This part is finally finished and this is how it is looking like. Oh dude, that part looks so nice, I'm so proud of my work and so happy that I managed to finish one more part of my level. Oh, the game crashed, that's sad. I'm glad I saved my level before it happened though. Now I'm gonna sleep and tomorrow I will finish it and record a video about it. Good night everybody! Oh, that was a nice sleep. I am so excited to continue making my level that I put so much work and love into. Let's just open it and... What? Where is my progress? Barely knew the innocent kid that everything had just disappeared. It all was just vanished and he would never see it again. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It was really a terrible feeling to have all your work vanish suddenly and you not being able to do anything about it. About two weeks have passed and I haven't made any progress in this level and honestly, I don't even plan to. I know that a lot of people wanted me to finish this project, but this thing that happened literally got all my motivation out of me and I don't know if I wanna touch this level ever again if I'm being honest. I'll just upload what I have made to this level in my GD account and you can check it out if you want. That was the tragic tale of my tutorial level. Even though that got me pretty sad, I started working on some bigger projects so I don't care about that level that much anymore. I can't do anything about it anyways. However, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.